Hello folks, welcome back. Um, I got an unboxing for you. So I did uh, uh, botanical gardens again today. And um, took the Z50, which is a crop sensor camera. I took the uh, Z72 full frame camera, 45.7 megapixel. Same as the Z8, Z9. So I want to try that out. Uh, the autofocusing is not as good as on the ZF or the uh, Z8 or Z9. But uh, still, it's a good camera. Okay. You can get you a 64 ISO if you want it. Um, pretty good. Love the colors. Love the video. Did a little 4K60. So um, anyway. Uh, going through the cycle here, I'm going to stop it right to the unboxing shortly. It should be this one right here. And there you have it. So, I ordered a new lens. And what it was, was the uh, TT Artisans. 27 millimeter f 2.8. It's a pancake lens. All right Now Nikon just came out And I don't know if this came before this but this is plastic It's uh, the DX 24 1.7 and that's an APS-C lens very light I got the old Z50 out. We're gonna try it out. I got the small rig cage I got, uh, I'll try it on video and pictures. Got the small rig handle, very sturdy. And let's see, let's open this thing up right now. So let's see, go here. Nice box. Okay. Chinese and, and English. Warranty card. Okay, you can probably get online. Anyway, it's a 27 millimeter autofocus f2.8. So let's open this up. Ah. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Now, this should be all metal construction, yep, but it's very light, and it comes with a lint hood. <laughs> Did a little, same thing as this, okay? So it comes with a lint hood. I'm going to put this back on. Very easy. So let's see. I think... If I can do it just right. There we go. <laughs> I like that TT Artisan. That's okay, it does have an aperture ring. 2.8. Yeah. You can move it just like this. Automatic I go up to 16 all the way from 2.8 Outstanding I like that Okay, so let's try it out Put it on the ZF. I always do this Now I'm wondering yep, okay, so in order to program it you have to put the lens on here. You use a USB-C cable, plug it in with this mounted. Let me see if I get it right. Is it this one? Okay. So there's that. 
trying to see if there's a notch or anything where it's supposed to go. They have contacts. I have no idea. That one seems best. So I'll have to try it out, see if it works. But you put the USB-C, the lens in it, and then it should uh, update it or anything. We shall see how it works, folks. So line up the um, now. This is very easy to move the aperture ring, but I do hear you know I do feel it clicking. But there is no locking me mechanism. So let's turn this uh, thing on. Okay. And this is out of focus. All right. Of course, this has a tilt screen. There we go. Pretty fast. Looks good. I'm looking at the lighting. Now, this is the one thing about the uh, Z50. This is why I got the handle. Okay. So the white balance looks good. The only thing is, it's always the autofocus. So I look at the LCD screen down here while you're vlogging. Can you hold it like this? Or you can hold it like this? Uh, I don't use a joystick because of the cage. And this is fine. This is all you need to do. So I just hold it like that. And here's looking at you, kid. Okay? So I'm going to try it out. Put this thing back. And it tilts out also. And I got an auto. Let's put it on video. See if there's a crop. Nope. Okay. Folks, this is what confuses a lot of people. If it's a DX lens, APS-C, if it says it's a 27 millimeter, it's a 27 millimeter. If you put a full frame lens on there, I think then it would be um, a 3940, okay? Um, or, you know, I don't know. I don't see a crop, all right? And uh, that that's the neat thing about the Z50. It looks good. So, it's uh, at f2.8. It's on automatic. Let's put it on, uh, let's see, manual. Okay. One, 1. 1.6. Okay, there's 2.8. One third of the shutter speed. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then the ISO. It's at 400, but it's on auto. So I'm going to leave it on auto. I think it's 4.1 Kelvin. And it's on vivid. But it's supposed to be auto-focused, and it's not doing it. Plus, I can take pictures. That's a neat thing when I have it on this. So it is on auto-focus, wide, vivid, fine JPEG. Very good. So let's do some testing with it. I'll take some pictures and stuff, and then I'll take some pictures with the Nikon one, and then we'll compare it. All right, I'll be back in a moment.
Okay, here we go again. So, um, let's go and see some videos, shall we? Okay, I don't have the mic uh, put in. I'm using the camera mic. There's Wanda. I'm using the video. It's 4K30. It's a 30 minute time recording on this camera. That's okay. It's at 20, so it should be pretty loud. It focuses. I'm trying different things in the dark. See how it can record in the dark if there's a lot of noise. See, it's focusing. Just need a little light. Okay. Okay, I'm cheating a little bit. There we go. I'm getting to 1.7. All right. This is the video on the Nikon. 1.7. Just turn it around real slowly. Show you my uh, setup for Studio 32. ZV-E1, ZV-E10, A7C, Nikon uh, ZFC. Painting. Down below is another Nikon ZFC and the Sony A6100. Here's Nikon lenses. These are the zooms, and down here are the primes. So I'm just bringing down. This is auto white balance. It's not the incandescent, okay? Now I'm just going to walk. You know what? I don't know if I put on the digital stabilization. That... This is just to show you how fast it can focus. Let's go down underneath. So I can see noise, okay? So let's go and do Wanda again. Hi, Wanda. She's always wagging her tail. Okay. So. It's getting cold outside, folks. Winter is finally coming. There's Dusty. Just turning around, looking at the light. Move back a little bit. So this is 1.7, okay? I'm going to change it to 2.8. Right about now. Okay, this is 2.8. All right. You see a lot of noise showing the dark. This is the uh, Nikon glass, but it's still focusing at 2.8. There's Wanda. And there's Dusty. Boy, he knows how to live. Okay, let me take some pictures with this one. 
Okay, folks, I'm back. Now I'm going to show you a little slideshow. And let's see if it's on the right one. My video scene. There we go. Okay. Over here. All right, so I there's a little bit out of focus, but this is with the TT Artisans 2.8. This is uh, on the Z50. There's a, now it's getting in focus. I have it on uh, uh, the auto aperture. Here's a picture of me. So you can see the grip and then the uh, the handle on the Z50. Very stable. Very good uh, shots. Only had a few uh, blurry ones like you saw in the beginning with the microphone. But that was it. This is the TT Artisans F2.8. And this is the wrong lighting, but uh, I had it on auto white instead of incandescent, I believe. And I'm just using the, uh, where it's doing the metering. So you can see the little green light. See, that one's out of focus. It's hard to uh, take pictures on a mirror. That's a mirror, by the way. And you can see I have the wrong lighting. So if everything looks blue, it's on the wrong lighting. It's like for the outdoors. Now I did it with the flash. And you can see the difference. But the pictures pop. I like that. That's Studio 64, by the way. Here's Studio 32 and the uh, Sony Studio. And that's where my ash is going to be buried. And I did it with a flash, I think. Or without a flash. I can't remember. And here's the ZF. Here's looking at you, kid. You can see me in the uh, LCD screen taking a picture. This is where I use the flash for the uh, bathroom. This is the entrance. Backed up a little bit for the entrance. But you can see the flaring too from the lights. And that's without the flash. So you can see I have it on the wrong lighting. That's supposed to be a green wall, by the way. If you had the wrong white balance, like I did with the outside, got to change it, that's what you get. I think I finally realized it and I changed it. So you can see the dark. Now that's with the light. With the flash anyway. And without the flash. Here's Wanda. You can, she's completely black unless you look at her uh, mouth. And you see, 
We turn on the flash. See more. Right, it's some wrong auto white balance. There's Dusty. So there are dark areas in the house. And I use them all the time. So I think I'm using the flash on him. See, that's the way he's supposed to look. Dark gray. And that's my floor color. And he's moving. But this is all with the F2.8. There's Wanda. Here's a part of my shoe. There's, you can still see the hairs on it. So it's pretty sharp for a 2.8. I'm impressed. There's Dusty. So I'm just taking pictures around the house. Here's my dining room. There's the entrance to my bedroom. So you see with the flash, if you don't have the right balance, it looks kind of blue. See, that's the way it's supposed to look without the flash. Here's the DVDs and some VHS movies I have. Here's my mom when she was younger. Old fashioned suitcase. There's her second husband, Dean, stepfather. Together. They were together for 47 years. Friends are the family you choose. And that's with the flash. So what I'm noticing is when I use the flash, it gives it kind of like a bluish tint. That's what the light on. That's what it's supposed to look. There's the uh, Tiffany over the uh, breakfast table. There's my deep freezer in front. And on the other side is the kitchen with a sink and dishwasher and cabinets. 
encyclopedias, Bibles, my wife's urn, mirror, part of the kitchen. And I like, you know, direct into that with the 2.8. It looks pretty sharp. Just the lamp is highlighted and then a little bit underneath. So I'm liking this lens. I see this is with the flash. That's the only thing. So you can see when I do the flash, everything's kind of like a bluish light. And when I don't use the flash. And this picture looks a lot better without it. So it looks pretty sharp, this lens. Small, compact. Funny lens hood on it, but so is the 1.7. It's kind of like a small rim. And the bed is made up, it's just that the dog moves the pillows around and she tries to get comfortable. I have some a foot locker and some stairs for her to climb up onto the bed. So I'm showing the iMac and a PC computer in my bedroom. Just taking more pictures with this uh, lens. Yeah, that's my sister and her husband and her two kids in Colorado and you can't see it very well. Sorry about that. There's a reflection in the mirror of the bicycle. There's the computer. One computer, I should say. I got many computers. The Eiffel Tower. So there's the R8 and the R6 Mark II for Canon. And then the R10 on the printer. I'm going to show you some other boards that don't work, but I have it for decoration. So the 2.8 is impressing me. Um, I look at the lines. I do see a little um, bending around the corners, okay? Now Nikon corrects their lenses. So this is a third party lens. But it's okay. It's not that bad. There's my sister and I. I've got two sisters. One's departed. That's the cat. Messing around. He wants something. He probably wants more food. A 
Okay, that's with the flash. So you notice the blue light. Okay, now this is in the bathroom. I've got it in the deep uh, bathtub. So here's a plant I got from 2017. It's still alive. That's the window to the bathroom, master bathroom. This is in the closet, master bedroom closet. And I have two computers in there with a file cabinet. Here's the other one. One's a 39X, I mean 3900X. The other one is a 3950X AMD processors. One has the uh, 3080 Ti, which that one does. And the other one has a 2080 Ti on this one. You see some games. Now you can look at the clothes and stuff I have in the uh, closet. I'm just taking pictures everywhere and they're coming up pretty good. I don't see much noise. The color looks exact until I uh, do a, use a flash. And this is from a crop sensor camera, the Z50. which I use at the Botanical Gardens. I used the planet on there, made the 135 millimeter, um, a 200 millimeter. Thought I'd try it out. Yeah, this is all in the closet, folks. A lot of pics. I'm back in the bathroom. I was a little bit too close on the next picture. So I had to move back a little bit. You can see little hairs and stuff. I need to clean that. If you can start seeing, um, I think this is with the flash. I'll find out in a moment. Yep, this is without the flash. So you see, it looks much better without the flash. That's why you don't see it on uh, cameras anymore. So there's a car. I'm going outside. I already did the videos. So see, this is with TT Artisan's uh, 27 millimeter DX APS-C lens. At F2.8. And it's cold out there, folks. Now you see a little flaring on the upper right hand corner. You can see my reflection too. Wow. This is with the flash. So I see it's set for the outside, not indoors on the flash. There's my crepe myrtle. Lost all of its flowers. It bloomed all year. You know, since June anyway.
Now, this is the Nikon 1.7. Okay, so I'm just trying to show you how sharp this lens is. But I'm going to make it fair. I'm going to put it up to 2.8. My dog is my doorbell. But you can see how sharp this lens is. Aperture does make a difference. Here's one. You can tell how sharp a lens is, is when you can see the dust. Now you see, I used the flash on this. It looks pretty correct, doesn't it? And there's the flash again. You can see the dust on the little lamp. And that's it. Oh, got to move the cursor back. And I'll go right here. Okay. So what do you think? Um, trying to figure out which camera. Yep, Z5. <laughs> um, I'm impressed with the lens. I like it. Oh, move over here. So it's metal construction. Uh, of course, plastic on the lens hood and lens cap. But uh, the um, turning the uh, aperture is kind of easy, but you can feel it turning. All right. So it doesn't lock in place. It's okay. It's pretty sharp for 150 bucks. It's well worth it. I'll put it right there. So I was impressed. So um, anyway, looking at my cat, he wants something. Yeah, he doesn't want to go outside. It's too cold. So uh, if you like this type of content, please give me a like. If you have any uh, comments or questions, put it down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. And remember, stay safe, keep smiling, and until next time, I shall see you then. Goodbye, folks. Let's go to uh, the TT. Artisans one last time. And I'll bring up a close-up shot. And I'll end it right there. Bye folks.